Okay, so I just watched Beyonce's Illuminati Isis Grammy performance, and she comes out as the Babylonian queen, the occult goddess. Well, first of all, her mother comes out and introduces her. Isis is the goddess and the mother of Horus, and she represents the mother in the Freemasonic, the Illuminati order. And Beyonce comes out, and there's this long kind of creepy voiceover, and they make it very clear that she's pregnant with twins. I've covered this before. The twins represent the two pillars in the Freemasonic Lodge, Boaz and Jaquin. And they do. she does this sort of demon dance, like the dance of the jinn. And she assumes multiple forms, also multiple images of herself. I've covered this before, that she talks about having at least one alter personality named Sasha Fierce, who does her... Uh, performing for her. So she does this demon dance. It's really creepy. And then she comes out dressed as Isis. She has this headgear that also looks like very much like the Statue of Liberty. Of course, the Statue of Liberty is another representation of Isis. So she comes out, she has her mother introduce her. She's pregnant with these twins. God help them. And then she comes out dressed as Isis. Now, of course, the CBS network with the Illuminati eye as their symbol originally came from the idea of the Colombian broadcast system. And they used to open, their, their logo used to be the Statue of Liberty. And Colombian stands for the Colombian branch of the Illuminati. And so this has all taken place on this ritualistic stage that the Grammys have become. And she walks very slowly and deliberately and she sings a song intertwined with her voiceover. She does this where she's sitting in this chair and she slowly tilts back and has a fall. And this is the fall of the mother. Now, Beyonce represents, they're trying to get Beyonce to re represent womanhood. She is the, what they're trying to do is get her to be the ideal mother in the eyes of the masses. These mothers that are divas, I've talked about this in so many videos, that they're trying to kill the wholesome mother that sacrifices for the family without any sense of a big ego, without any sense of self, but through her love and through her natural inclination as caring for her young, she is somebody that leads the family in a way that's not offensive or not aggressive, but in a way that through service and through sacrifice and love, the children learn to love and there's something just pure and natural about it. But now women have to have careers and these big egos and they have to be superstars, which they spend 90% of their time on creating an image in their, in their working world. And the kids get very little in terms of the mother's love and affection. Her energy just goes in a different direction. So they've been trying to kill this archetype and this ideal for many years now. And then this, you see this um, Illuminati ritual taking place on the stage. You know, this performance is more important than those alleged twins in her belly. Because a mother who is pregnant it's just not something that you should be out doing in front of everybody in these lights, a high stress event. You know, mother should be in a safe place where this sacred gift and these precious young souls are about to be born into this world. And she should be protected and away from this bizarre demonic world. But they put her in the middle of this demon fest, <laughs> pregnant with these two kids, or allegedly or whatever. So yeah, it's just really creepy on so many different levels. I have another little bit I'm going to do on the Grammys because I watched the first 20 minutes until this performance and it's god awful. And I just feel like it's an indication of America jumping the shark. I'm going to do a separate video. This I'm just going to put this up quickly and I'll probably do another one tomorrow. And I can't emphasize this enough is that we have to, especially young people, have to realize that America has sort of jumped the shark. There's nothing really more to see here. You know, it's time to call it. <laughs> and people put more energy into the old ways and finding real substantial relationships and connecting with nature and more than anything else with God on a deep spiritual level, finding the part of you, the soul that's within you, that's connected to God in your hearts and these things I talk about in so many videos. All right, this is Paul Romano. 
definitely reporting from the apocalypse. Everybody have a wonderful night and a good day tomorrow.